CES 2019 has just wrapped recently, and we want to talk about the key trends that we saw at the show that we think are going to have the biggest impact over the next couple of years. So our first trend is a little bit unexpected for what you think is a physical technology show, and that is synthetic meat. Impossible Burger introduced the Impossible Burger 2.0. This is a plant-based meat that is almost indistinguishable from traditional ground beef. What I think is most exciting about this for businesses and brands is not only that the food industry is a multi, multi trillion dollar industry, but that food really shapes our behavior and our values. And this move forward to synthetic and lab grown meat could have a huge impact. The next trend is AI voice assistance. What was clear at CES wasn't so much who won, but that voice assistants are literally gonna be in everything from your bathroom to your car. And it isn't a question of Google or Apple or Amazon who's gonna win this battle. It's more of what we saw with LG where they are accepting all three platforms and their devices like their smart TVs. I think the key takeaway here is businesses and brands are gonna to have to look to work on all three platforms in the ways that are relevant for their brand. So next up is quantum computing. IBM really created a surprise at the show by announcing that they had created the first quantum computer that could exist outside of the lab environment. It's really designed for engineers, software developers to begin to understand how to make these practical, useful quantum computers. It shows that we're probably only four or five years away from these usable quantum computers and they have amazing implications. They'll be able to do uh, solve problems that are simply impossible with traditional computers today. So next up is autonomous transportation systems. As expected, autonomous cars were there, but the real surprise of the show was the Bell Nexus EVTOL, Vertical Takeoff and Lift Air Taxi. This is a prototype that Bell created that looks like it's right out of a science fiction novel. Uh, it's kind of a combination of a giant drone slash helicopter designed to carry four passengers. Uh, and I think what this opened up is that possibilities around transportation just won't be on the ground, they will be in the air and all work together as a system. So CES is known for their screens and they did not disappoint this year. They were bigger, they were more bendable, they were 8K resolution. But what was most interesting to us is that the seeds for the end of two-dimensional screens was also at CES. New VR headsets, new mixed reality headsets. The one to look for is the Vuzix Razor. It is a pair of glasses that look like sports sunglasses, $1,000, currently available for pre-order. You can talk to them, Alexa is built in. In many ways, it's almost like Google's vision of glass is finally here and ready to try out. At CES, there were dozens and dozens of our future machine overlords uh, on display. Most of them showcased their new utility, but the most interesting robot was the Lovat, a domestic robot that is designed to do absolutely nothing functional or practical. It's completely designed to have an emotional relationship with you and you with it. I think this is really important for us to begin to really adopt domestic robots. They're gonna to have to have the balance of both emotional relevance and utility. So finally, uh, as expected, 5G is the trend we're focused on. What was interesting at CES is there was almost no real 5G uh, equipment to be seen. This is the building year where the networks are implemented, where the hardware all comes out, and the new possibilities that 5G create around autonomous driving, around where uh, wireless wearables, like the, the mixed reality glasses, all these things are gonna be well underway this year. So thanks for watching this feature excerpt. And as final note, uh, we are announcing our next FutureX Live, the next 10, conference all about these emerging technologies, how they're affecting our lives today, the kinds of futures they can bring about. It's gonna be this April 30th at Georgia Will Congress Center. Uh, if you're interested, check out the URL futurexlive.com for more information.